it's your girl June and I'm on a ghost tour for the birthday girl ride. She made 26. Oh my god, my baby's getting so old. But you guys, we're walking to our destination and I'm just gonna do a little quick film. Just a little quick, quick something, something to help y'all, help y'all, help me, help her celebrate her birthday. So I'll see you guys when we get closer to the tour. Love y'all. The dying and the dead, the many yellow fever and cholera epidemic victims that were so common here in the city. Unfortunately, most of the work he did was last rites and burials. After he died, his presence was so strong here that his ghost, his spirit, remained on site and has been seen walking the garden behind the St. Louis Cathedral and along the alleyway named in his honor. And some of the eyewitness accounts of his presence here is people will report walking to this alleyway and stumbling on these uneven pavers. As they're about to fall, someone catches them. They look around and there's nobody there. Mm -hmm. They know it is the ghost, the spirit of Pierre Antoine, that is there to catch them and prevent them from falling and hurting themselves. Unfortunately, he only works in this alley, so any place else in the French Quarter, you run your own. Oh, wow. All right, bro, stay, stay where you at. Going to the next location. <laughs> we got Mo in the building. What's up, Mo? <laughs> Location, you guys. Okay, right now we're sitting across the street from the Burbalines Hotel, which is one of our many haunted hotels here in the French Quarter. Now, the Burbalines Hotel extends from this brick building right over here, which is now Kelly facing Rural Street, and goes all the way to the corner, which happens to be Burma Street. I take it everybody's been to Burma Street, right? Yes. A really? yeah. few you have not noticed there's a theme of adult entertainment. And how did that come about? It was a result of entertaining soldiers at the end of World War II. As New Orleans was a major point of entry for returning soldiers at the end of that war, and as they were returning home through New Orleans with money in their pockets, they were business people that happened to be on Burma Street. Pierre sits back there. He did, of course, but you know, I'm gonna put some pictures in y'all. Let me know if y'all see his spirit, okay? All right, you guys. Well, from the guests and the staff about the bed linens, the sheets, the towels, stains will appear on them that look like blood that will appear and then disappear. Hmm. So it is unfortunate most of the hauntings associated with this particular hotel are somewhat gruesome, and as a result of that, the management of the provincial has chosen not to advertise about being haunted. So there's nothing on their website, no printed literature, no rotating TV monitors in their lobby. Now, if you were you stay at this hotel and ask the staff about being haunted, they're not going to deny it because of its reputation. But as far as advertising promotes themselves as such, they feel it's going to hurt their business more so than help it. And there are other businesses and hotels here in the French Quarter and across the city. They're indeed haunted that management chooses not to promote as such. So you could be staying at a hotel or visiting a business here in the, uh, in the city that is haunted that you may not know about unless something unusual happens to you. Right. That's why I pray. Oldest building in the Mississippi River Valley. The church was added later in the 1890s, but this building dates back to 1750. It is also the only building that was built for the French during the French colonial period because everything else the French felt burned during the two fires. Today is owned by the Catholic Church. They use it as a museum. Tours are available. Research center, as a lot of the records of the Catholic Church are stored here, they also use it as an events venue. But over the course of its life, besides being used as a convent, it was also used as a school, orphanage, and a hospital and was used as a hospital during the time primarily of our yellow fever epidemics. Mm. Now, yellow fever is a disease spread by the mosquito, standing water, and filth in the streets. But people at that time did not associate that those conditions with the spread of yellow fever. People believe that yellow fever is spread by the air that you breathe, being around those who are sick, or in contact with other bodies of those who had died. So a great misunderstanding, great fear of that dread of disease. Now, one thing that was known about yellow fever is that when it did happen, it was during the summertime. Well, that's when mosquitoes breathe. And when you did contract it, you almost guaranteed you die from it. You died in a matter of days, and it was a very painful death through dehydration. And as you were approaching death, your skin would take on a yellow tone. That's just inside. But the first night he's here with his family, they get so unnerved by the sounds of chains rattling. 
moans, screams, doors opening and closing, all the strange events, they don't want to spend another night here again. So he owns this house for two and a half years, but only spends one night here. And in the time frame that Nicholas Cage owned the Lori mansion, he does not and cannot pay the mortgage of the property taxes on and the the bank seizes it from him and he loses it. This is the same time he's having trouble with the IRS, but not paying his income taxes. This is also the exact same time he starts making some really bad movies. Call it coincidence or not, but during the time frame that Nicholas Cage owned the Lori Mansion, he had financial ruin and a drop in his career. So he too did not escape the bad luck associated with being the owner of the New Orleans Haunted Mansion. Well, eventually the bank gets it back from him. They finally find another buyer who buys it from the bank for under a million dollars, way below market value, just for the bank to get rid of it. This person then immediately sells it to someone else, who sells it to someone else, to someone else. Run back, y'all. The window is closed, sealed off, because a little girl jumped from it. A slave girl. A slave girl. girl. So she sealed this window and it's in the same condition. But as far as being over occupied, it's not. Wookie, wookie. This is the house from um, American Horror. Yeah, I'm no American Horror. Her children were coming in the front of it. If we get them home, all her kids were coming in the front of it. Why do you got this little spirit in my window? You see? Trying to play fun. Y'all see that ghost? <laughs> y'all see the ghost, y'all? Y'all see him? Look, you see him? Spirit, y'all. You blocked the spirit, though. Where you went? Oh, there he go, right there. So warm. Yeah, look. Where it went? That look. See? I'm bringing them over here. Shay, he buy you. He buy who? He buy Shay. Wait, what is that? <laughs> I don't know what he went. Let me see about it. Oh, there you go. Oh, it's the pulp and bitch. It's three of them. Look, look, look. Look, it's two. Oh, no, they're walking off. What do you win? Y'all seen that? Oh, look. He right there. Look, look, look. I'm looking at the thing. Of New Orleans. He Don't said, follow us. your forehead, son. <laughs> Reveal yourself. Don't follow us. For real, though. Please. Hey, right there, my camera. <laughs> this is New Orleans. Where I'm from, we got oysters in the pot hole. Yes. Oysters in the pot hole. This is where I'm from. 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 I didn't even see that. Hold on. Yes, that, that is a pothole. <laughs> I thought that was regular rocks. I didn't know that was oysters. Big oysters, okay? Bitch, and I want a dozen right now. Hey, beautiful. <laughs> it's COVID time, so the city is shut down. The leader of the pack got me out here exercising me all. My exercise was over at 10 o'clock. <laughs> I said the leader of the pack got me out here exercising. My exercise is over at 10 o'clock. I'm about to get some food. And I'm about to sit down. Because my booty hurt. It hurt, hurt, hurt. What, what was that told guy name? Jack? John. David. Jonathan. Jonathan. John Kidd was pretty cool towards me, and I guess he said I finally got rid of this hood, right, crew? <laughs> y'all, I can't wait for y'all to look at this video, bro. Y'all gonna see the ghost. It's pretty cool, man. This is New Orleans. Look at these bugs. What the hell is that? Look at the alligators. Puppies. Like I'm standing like, uh, oh, Lord, another ambulance. What that is, Will Fossil, when he was chasing someone. Oh, one you and I. <laughs> did you have fun, birthday with, girl? I was filled with pride. I did. I told her I was kind of boring. Towards this. But he was pretty he good. Got, he, got, he got good. He, he did, got he good. did. But no, like, I thought I was going to be like really scared. Oh, this is where we met at. Like, yeah. 
That's how we know how to get home. We gotta do the voodoo tour, y'all. Yeah, we gotta do something more like. Man, if this video get, then I don't think he was really entertaining us because he was like, "We from here." And it's like, yeah, so it feels like tourists. I know. If this video get, how many likes you think this video should get, right? This video should get about six hundred likes. Oh my gosh, six hundred likes, you guys! If we get six hundred likes, we will stay in a haunted hotel in New Orleans. That's all we need. Six hundred. Six hundred likes. We stay. Bitch, we can stay in my motherfucking house. Six hundred likes. We stay. Six hundred likes. We getting paid. Six hundred likes, y'all. Hey, if this video gets six hundred likes, we stay in a haunted hotel in New Orleans. What you gonna do? Stay in the favela? Yeah, that's what we gonna stay at. What we staying at? In a We're gonna stay in the favela if this video gets 600 likes. 600 likes, y'all. Y'all could do it. 600 likes. 600 likes on this video. We stand in the hotel. That's haunted. 600 likes on this video. We stand in the haunted hotel. That's dope. Tell them 600 likes to pay for the hotel, though. Right. <laughs> so I'm gonna need for y'all to like this up. I need y'all to subscribe, too. You know, 600 likes. We stand at a haunted hotel, bro. Do the thick of it. Do the dip it in. Thick, thick of it. Thick of it. Hit it, key. Hit it, key. Oh, side step on him. Side step on him. Oh, my son, a whole cue out you. <laughs> Hit it, Kayla. Hit it, Kayla. All right, Kayla. I'm weak. I can't hang with these people. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. So, you guys, we made it to our last destination, which is IHOP. And I'm ready to tell down on some pancakes, you know what I'm saying? 600 likes. 600 likes. 600 likes. And we stay like subscribe. At turn that post notification bell on. Hit the comments and just blow it up. But 600 likes, Boom. we staying at a, a haunted hotel. Uh, <laughs> you bought that life? 5.99 likes. <laughs>